As we continue to reflect on the January 6th riot at the Capitol, we're getting a look at how members of the public are turning into amateur detectives to help identify the people involved. CBS's Jeff Pegues has the story. That day is seared in so many minds. <laughs> Mobs of rioters pummeling and beating police officers and trying to breach Capitol doors. I was watching all these people hurt officers, desecrate Congress, and no, no one was getting arrested. What this woman saw on January 6th motivated her to do something. We aren't identifying her because like others working to identify rioters, she's concerned about her safety. Reading through tens of thousands of images produced that day, this politically independent grandmother joined the crowdsourced collaborative movement of sedition hunters almost immediately. John Scott Railton was also closely watching the attack. One image stopped me in my tracks, and that was a picture of a man wearing body armor holding a clutch of temporary restraints in the visitor's chamber uh, of the Senate. I thought, my God, what is going on in the capital of my country? Railton, an internet researcher focused on hacking and disinformation, got to work trying to identify the masked man. Looking at the image, what is this guy wearing? What's he carrying? How does he move? And through that process, which would be called open source investigation, uh, ultimately we got to an identity. Railton motivated others to start sifting through the mountains of evidence available on TV and social media. People began joining groups and collaborating with each other. That ultimately led to some really remarkable discoveries and successes. To me, it sounds like finding a needle in a haystack. It's like finding a needle in a haystack of needles. Some of the sedition hunters would work with images just focused on tracking people in the crowds. Others focused on building timelines or geolocating individuals on maps of the Capitol. It's like looking at a picture, what's in the background, where do I think the person taking this video was standing, what else in that video corresponds to a time period that I already know. Former FBI agent Catherine Schweitz says the sedition hunter's work has undoubtedly led to faster results. It is by far the largest number of people that the FBI has ever had to investigate. The fact that the citizens are stepping up is taking the time period and shrinking it down substantially. Jeff Begay's CBS News, Washington. More than 700 people are facing criminal charges, but there are still more than 250 people wanted by the FBI for allegedly assaulting federal officers.